Oh my goodness. If I would have dropped that fire. Oh, so it looks like it lifted my mom's van. Okay, you're uh, indulging in in something that is technically unnecessary. Metro booming and want some more, nigga. Welcome back to Fourth Flow in TTV. Special guest, he jumps the goof in here with me. What up? What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. This video today uh, should be a real, real quick one. Uh, basically, it's December 31st, last day of 2020. Like I say, if you saw the past videos, I've just been going through stuff that I don't wear, I don't use anymore. And so, as y'all can see, a car full of stuff in a trunk full. So I'm just about to ride around the Jackson area, uh, say a prayer ask that the Lord guide me and that things are given to those who truly need it and who will truly utilize it uh, for what it's meant for. And so I don't believe in showing, you know, certain things and what you do for others. So this video, I won't be doing that. What I will do is I'll check back in after I'm through passing everything out and just kind of share with y'all how it made, made me feel uh, and hopefully can ins inspire others to give and help and help <clears throat> others so that's basically it it's all, it'll probably be dark soon so i'm about to go and start riding around and and uh giving some things out so i'll check back with y'all be sure to hit that like button leave a comment share this video with family and friends and please hit that red subscribe button uh this is the last day of 2020 uh we might not make it to 100 subs that was the goal but if not we're going to keep going i appreciate all y'all support hopefully this video uh will motivate you to help others as well y'all be blessed We'll be back. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to call it a quits for the day because it's getting dark, uh, and it's also sprinkling in certain areas, so I'm sure it's going to rain soon. And so I will pick up tomorrow, uh, which is the first, if not tomorrow, over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, the second or the third, because I still got a car full of stuff. Uh, I got a lot of stuff passed out, but I still got a lot of stuff left. So before I give my rebuttal and my... Uh, my thoughts and feelings uh, about everything, uh, I'll wait till everything is passed out. And so uh, this video will pick back up tomorrow or whatever the next time that I resume passing things out. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me this long. Take a break, hit that like button, leave a comment, or hit that subscribe button, or all of the above. I, I truly appreciate it. Y'all be blessed and we'll check back. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. Uh, today is the first, well, this morning is the first, January 1st, 2021. So, Happy New Year. If y'all been rocking with me to this point, hopefully, uh, recently I should have dropped a video I did for Christmas, the clothes video, which is two, and this video, the passing the, the clothes out video, that's three. Plus, last night, I did an impromptu video uh, I wasn't gonna record last night. I was just sitting, eating, you know, waiting for the countdown and stuff like that, manifesting, meditating. And so I just pulled out my camera last night and recorded a little bit. So that's another video there. So <clears throat> doing good so far. Just gotta keep editing, uh, giving y'all content, trying to upload every day between starting today, the 1st, to the 14th, my birthday. Basically, was gonna wake up this morning and resume passing out the clothes and things to the less fortunate, but, uh, you know, the devil got to He got to try and put his little two cents in. So, I woke up this morning, just woke up not too long ago, got a call from my mom that uh, a tree uh, fell. I don't know. It's a lot of trees in my mama's backyard and just in the area where she lives. So, uh, I know she said the tree didn't fall on her house or nothing like that, but I think the tree did fall in the neighbor's yard. And so it's like the second tree that fell around my mama's house. Uh, one tree fell in the backyard years ago. So first and foremost, thank God nobody was hurt, nobody was injured. But it's the first. And we manifesting a lot of things. We praying for a lot of things. We finna work for a lot of things. My motto this year is, is no more excuses, work harder. So the devil just trying to attack on, a, uh, on the first of the year. And, and I guess get my mindset or my family's mindset on, oh, it's always something and da 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 da. That's not the mindset. We thanking and praising God. Nobody was hurt. Nobody was injured. So I'm going to, I'm going to take the camera now, head over to my mom's and see exactly what all happened. 
uh, probably get some footage and then hopefully uh, I'll be returning to uh, pass out the things to the less fortunate. Hopefully it's not too cold outside and it warms up the rest of the day. So, Happy New Year. Happy 2021 to everybody watching this video. <clears throat> uh, I hope y'all had a good night last night, a safe night. And I hope you all are prepared and ready starting today to make this one of the best years of your life so far. So, finna head to my mom's and, and, and see what's going on over there and then we'll get back to passing things out. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me this far. Thank you. So it looks like it lifted my mom's van, which we wasn't using it anyway. Uh, that van had been sitting for years. It's just still like, wow. Just did, Mr. House. Thank God, nobody was hurt, like I said. Just did miss their house. Think any treasure down there, y'all? Yeah. I'll check that. What's good, y'all? Pretty much done uh, passing things out. I have like two pair of guy shoes uh, left in the car. I was kind of waiting till I ran into somebody uh, who didn't have. Uh, proper footwear. I didn't have any footwear at all, but I didn't see anybody like that. So I'm going to keep those shoes in my car until I come across somebody uh, or until the Lord just puts it on my heart to hey, give it to them over there, uh, them over there, you know, whatever the case may be. A lot of uh, female shoes that I got from my mom and my aunt, all heels. Uh, I ran into a few homeless women but they didn't want the heels, which is understandable, you know. Not nobody really want to be walking, you know, doing a lot of walking in heels. So I think I'm going to keep those in the car as well until I just, I don't know, uh, either take it to Goodwill. I took some stuff to Goodwill. i probably take the rest of that stuff to the Salvation Army or something like that. <clears throat> but that's basically how my stuff is passed out. My thoughts and opinions and rebuttals, I can't really say that it's just something new because I've worked with the less fortunate in the sense of the homeless. I worked with them before during my time at Heinz Behavioral Health, even though I worked in the children's department as a children's therapist. Uh, one day I was helping out with the adult department and I was sent downtown to a homeless shelter and so uh, through that, I've been in different scenarios where I've interacted and worked with homeless people and, and the less fortunate. This experience yesterday and today was somewhat different in the sense of I wasn't doing this for no organization. It wasn't nobody helping me doing this. This was a di direct from me to the the recipient. Uh, I just drove around. I prayed. I asked God, God lead my heart, lead the car. Uh, it was some people I saw that I didn't stop. It wasn't on my heart and on my spirit to stop. And that's not no disrespect or no negative to them. It's just if I pass by and you, uh, you know, you're drinking a bottle or, or smoking in my mind, 
Okay, you got enough to, you know, get a bottle or get a cigarette. So you may not need these shoes. You may not need these pants or this shirt because a couple of bottles is equivalent to you going to the gas station buy a six, seven dollar shirt. You know, uh, or, or the little cheap shoes in the gas station. So basically, what I'm saying is, if I saw a person and it didn't hit my heart and my spirit to okay, stop, give them something, then it's it's. <clears throat> Like I said, it's difficult to uh, want to help if I see, okay, you're uh, indulging in in something that is technically unnecessary. Y'all have to forgive me uh, if, if you hear them gunshots, people still shooting. But, and then there were other people, a couple people that I saw, I wanted to stop and give them something, but the way they were, they, the way they were acting, their demeanor, uh, as I as I passed them in a car, as I saw them before they saw me, uh, I had to be safe as well. I was, like I said, I was by myself. I'm, uh, it's, I say all the time, it's the goof, not the goof. I'm not the goof. <clears throat> not T-H-E goof. But, uh, yeah, just to protect my safety, I wasn't finna pull over. And, hey, you need anything, clothes, anything? You know, people are there acting, acting uh, kind of irate or aggressive or just drugs, whatever the case may be. But reflecting back, honestly, it felt normal. It was normal for me to doing the stuff. Like I say, people who know me know my heart and stuff. This ain't nothing. No, woo -doo -doo -woo. I'm just did a video about it because I'm trying to give YouTube and give my fans more content. But I will say this: there was this guy. I gave him some things yesterday, and I was back out passing out stuff today, and I saw him. I didn't know that was him. So I, I say, hey, you, you need any clothes or anything? He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know it was him, so I pulled over. And when I got the car, as he was approaching the car, I said, hey, you the guy. I, yesterday I gave the stuff to. And he had the jacket on. I gave him the shirt, the pants, the shoes. And <clears throat> I told him, I said, thank you, you know, because you actually utilize the stuff. Not to say that the people I gave, other people I gave stuff to are not going to use the stuff or utilize it. And that's not for me to worry about or stress about. But just to see him in all that, and he was kind of to himself. He had his little a little radio, so I'm listening to a radio. And I asked him, I say, hey, man, uh, I think I gave him some shoes yesterday. I think if I, I'm, I'm not sure. But anyway, the white bronze with the shoestrings in them that I showed y'all that was still kind of decent, I gave him those. And he just lit up when I gave them to him. And, and that kind of did something to me. And then uh, there was another incident today where I saw a lady and a child, and the lady was uh, evidently on, on under the influence at the time of what drug, I don't know. Who left the child in her supervision, I don't know. But the child was probably about five, six, and I saw my ex the last day, you need any clothes? The, the latest clothes I had, the pants were just her size. Uh, she didn't want any heels or anything. Uh, said that they were hurt her feet. But the child, I gave the child uh, a pair of, they were like some shack shoes I had bought years ago for my son. and But we never really used them. So they were, they those shoes are, are basically brand new. I didn't show y'all those on camera, but them shack shoes are basically fresh out the box. So I gave the child those as well as uh, some kids clothes. Uh, that that were appropriate to the ch to the size of that child, and uh, some gloves. You know, the child was out there with nothing on her feet other than some sandals. It's cold outside, toes out, nothing on her hands. And and that was really the the biggest thing for me. That was the highlight of yesterday and today. Giving giving that child those things. And I'm a very humble guy, but just re humbling yourself. It's been a great start to 2021. Uh, I woke up this morning, as y'all see, uh, got the news about the tree in my mom's yard and the neighbor's yard. But as I just left from over there, a lot of the tree is gone. Them guys next door, they ain't never seen nobody chop up a tree and get it on down that quick. But everything's fine. Nobody was hurt. No cars and no, no house was uh, damaged or anything from my mom and the neighbors. So that's a blessing. Uh, I've been in a positive spirit all day today which lets me know you know i'm 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 headed on the right track you know i uh i went into the new year last night i think with the right mindset i woke up with the right mindset and i've just been positive today i just i've just had a positive uh 
mindset, a positive aura with me today. I'm trying to think. Uh, it's just been an overall good day. Overall good day. The gym was closed today, so starting tomorrow, January 2nd, we finna be back in this gym. I might get footage here and there, but I'm mostly finna be on grind mode. I ain't no time to record, you know, in the gym. I'm finna try and get it. But that's it, y'all. Uh, my message to y'all, I pray everyone watching this video has a wonderful, wonderful, wonderfully blessed 2021. If you're ever free and just got free time and got a lot of stuff, look through your stuff and Whatever you don't use or utilize, whether it's clothes, uh, appliances, whatever the case may be, just throw it in your car and just go ride. Say, God, guide me, and just wherever he guides you to, just, you know, give it away. Like I say, with me, it's not about no, none of that. People who know, know. And the feelings that I that I got today just by doing that and, and telling them people, hey, I love y'all. Uh, Happy New Year. You know what I'm saying? Now, technically, i never seen them before today and, and yesterday. So, technically, it's like, you know, you love them. Uh, would you die for them? Would you take a bullet from them? Would do something in a technical sense? But what I meant was, like, I, I, I know how it feels for somebody to say I love you. Just randomly. Especially if you don't hear it a lot. It's like, it's, it, I just know what a simple I love you can do. So, you know, I was telling them, hey, I love y'all, man. Happy New Year. Y'all be blessed, man. And, you know, I've been in situations, I've never been homeless like like that. So I've been in my younger years, high school, I've been kicked out of my mom's house here and there a few nights. You know, in college for a few, like about a week, I was I was living out of my car until I found somewhere to stay. Like, but I've never been just homeless like, like that. And just to get out there and give those people some some items and for it to be just wonderful to them which was things that I was just getting rid of it just it just I feel like I started the year off right so my message to anybody watching this video I apologize if it's getting kind of dark uh, it's getting late but <clears throat> my message and my challenge to anybody watching this video is January 1st 2021 by the time you see this video it'll be past the first but when you see this video I challenge you to tell a random person you love them and I know, oh, I told my neighbor, but they was random because we don't talk like that. No, tell a completely random person. Matter of fact, find somebody that facial expression and, and body language says a lot. Find somebody who just even looks like they feel they're not loved. Or who looks like they're going through something or just they feel like they're alone. Just find somebody random. Say, hey, I love you, man. Hey, ma'am, I love you. It's simple. You know, whether they believe you or not, just just throw that energy out there. That's my challenge to y'all when you see this video. Just tell a random person you love them and just do what you can for people, you know. Like I said, always remain humble. Don't forget what you, what you came from. And that's just how I am. Like, I feel like I relate to them in the sense of sometimes feeling like you don't really have nobody to talk to or nobody to understand or... Or uh, people just see the outcome and not care about, okay, how did it get to that? What happened? You need anything? Like, just like I said, like a simple, I love you. So, it's just been an awesome experience uh, today and yesterday. I think I'm finna finish the rest of the uh, this first. Just relax and meditate and probably get on this computer, edit some videos for y'all but that's it we're gonna conclude right here i appreciate y'all for rocking with me be sure to hit that like button give it a thumbs up comment on the video share this with family and friends and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and until next time y'all be blessed i love y'all see it's easy Thank you.